another cooking video. So today's video we're going to be making three meal prep ideas. These are great ones to take to uni or to work or whatever you seem to do during the day. I'm going to be making two portions of each recipe so let's get started. Next up we've got a veggie bolognese. This is a real comfort food recipe and a good one if you're not in the mood for like a salad -y thing at work or uni or whatever. You can eat this one cold but it's also really really good warmed up in a microwave. So first up we're just going to chop the vegetables. I'm starting off with the carrots here and the idea is to get all the vegetables into a similar size pieces just so they cook really evenly. Then we've got button mushrooms. Normal mushrooms would be absolutely fine in this recipe though and a red pepper. Onion is such an essential part of this recipe just because it adds a lot of flavour and again I'm just chopping this up into similar size pieces to the rest of the vegetables. Then in a frying pan or you can use more of like a wok style pan I just add a little bit of oil and then put all the vegetables in to cook for a few minutes. And just slice the garlic quite finely. I don't add this in with the rest of the vegetables, which, which is something that I did used to do, but I've realized over the years that it just cooks a bit quicker, so I add it in a bit later on. And then going in with the corn mince and just giving that a stir and leaving it to cook with the vegetables. Next up, I just roughly weigh out the pasta into the container that I'm going to be using just because I find that's quite an easy gauge to see how much you're using and so I don't use too much, which I usually do. And then just add some boiling water into the pan and leave that to cook. Then add the garlic into the pan with the vegetables and the corn mince and give that a stir and then go in with the chopped tomatoes. I always fill the can up with a little bit of water and add a bit more in just because it gets the rest of the tomato out of the can but also you'll find that corn mince doesn't sort of produce as much liquid as normal mince would and I'm then going in with a teaspoon of stock but you can also use a stock cube for this recipe. Next up we've got the tomato puree that just makes it a bit richer and more tomato-y really and then just give that a stir and leave it to cook. For seasoning, I'm just putting some mixed herbs in here. They're just dry, but fresh ones would be great as well, and some salt and pepper. Like I said before, the corn mince doesn't always sort of make as much liquid as you'd want. So I sometimes add a bit of water just to give it more of a sauce. When the pasta's cooked, add it to the containers and then serve with the corn mince. just sprinkling a little bit of pecorino or parmesan cheese on top here just to give it a bit more flavour. Next up we've got chickpea fajita bowls. This is such a tasty recipe. It's got quite a lot of ingredients but a lot of them are cold and don't need to be cooked and it all adds to the flavour. So I'm going to start by draining the chickpeas here just to get rid of any of that water and then adding them to a jug. Just pour a little bit of olive oil in and then the seasoning mix on top. I love using the old El Paso seasoning mix here just because it tastes really, really good, but you could definitely make your own seasoning if you wanted to. Then just spread these out onto a baking tray. I always put foil on my baking tray just because they stick really, really badly. Then bake in the oven at 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. Next up, we're just boiling the rice. Now I use my hand to measure out rice, but you can definitely weigh it out and just putting some boiling water in with that and a little bit of stock and leaving it to cook. The stock just adds a bit of extra flavor. Next up, the lettuce. We've got quite a lot of chopping that's about to happen here, but starting off with sort of shredding the lettuce and adding that to the Tupperware. Then we're going in with the black beans. These need to be drained quite thoroughly, but they don't really need to be cooked. And then I'm just adding those to the Tupperware on top of the lettuce. Then exactly the same for the sweet corn. I don't actually tend to rinse this um, just because it has quite a nice flavor. And then just adding that to the Tupperware as well. Then slicing up the cherry tomatoes and the spring onion just into small pieces and then slicing the avocado into cubes. Then we've got 
got the lime wedges. These are just really great to squeeze over and just give it a little bit of added flavor. And the jalapenos, which are definitely optional. I actually put way too many in this and I always think that I can deal quite well with the spice, but apparently not. <laughs> then just drain off the rice and you're adding all of that to the Tupperware as well. out of the oven these might stick to the tinfoil as you can see here but they can easily be scraped off and then add those to the tupperware and then some of the fresh veggies and other chopped up items on top and we're going in with the greek yogurt this just really finishes it off i find it just gives it a little bit of added creaminess and makes it so so delicious This recipe is quite simple. We're starting off with the aubergine and we're just cutting one large aubergine and probably a half into chunks. I actually added these to a bowl and then realized that there were too many to fit in the bowl. So add those to a slightly bigger dish. And then you're making the miso paste into more of a liquid. So I'm adding a bit of boiling water here and just giving it a stir. Next up, I'm adding some olive oil and the miso paste to the aubergine. I'm really letting that marinate and sink in. That's what gives it all the flavor in this recipe. Then just spread that out evenly onto a baking tray and we're putting that in the oven at about 200 degrees for around 20 minutes. Next up, we're cooking the lentils. So I'm just rinsing them off here and then adding them to a pan of boiling water. I'm also adding a little bit of stock to this. The stock that I'm using in all these recipes, by the way, is just, it just comes in a powdered form rather than a stock cube, but stock cubes are always fine for this as well. Make sure to check the aubergine partway through and just give it a little sort of shift around just to make sure it's cooked on all sides. Then slice the spring onion and the chili into small pieces and we're basically just using this as a garnish and testing to see how spicy it is at the same time. <laughs> I'm using a little bit of coriander in this recipe as well, just because I really like the flavor, but I know a lot of people don't, so you can always skip this step. When the lentils are properly cooked through, drain them off and then add everything to the Tupperware. I'm just finishing off this recipe with a few sesame seeds as well, just because they give it a little bit of extra crunch. So there we have it, my three easy meal prep ideas. This is me and Matt just enjoying all of the food. We're actually watching an episode of um, Jamie Oliver to get inspiration for our next video. As always, if you did enjoy watching, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. I've got lots more of these videos coming and I'll see you in the next one.